Fourth is what? Yes. When a charged particle enters the magnetic field at an angle, then you have to find out the time period and pitch of a charged particle. Helical path. You have to find out what? Time period and pitch. There is a magnetic field. First step is that there is a magnetic field. As seen by you, north to south, from left to right, or you can say longer x axis. Here, the charge particle enters. At an angle with the field. That means it has two components. One is horizontal component, another is a vertical component. This angle theta, it is a horizontal component. If it enters with the velocity v, horizontal component is what? V cos theta. Vertical component is V sin theta. Now, in the previous lecture, what we have covered is, what is the effect of V cos theta? Only this, magnetic field is this one, particle having parallel velocity to V, force acting is 0. Why 0? Formula is F is Q V cross V. V and V are V and V, they are parallel. V cos theta is parallel. V cos theta is parallel to V. So, force acting due to this component is 0. So, this because of this, charge particle will continue to move with the same speed. Second, what about V sin theta? This is perpendicular. Magnetic field is this. V sin theta is perpendicular. Because of perpendicular component, the charge particle moves in a circle. Now, we need to take into account both horizontal as well as vertical, uh, horizontal as well as this vertical component. Because of horizontal component, it moves straight. Because of V sin theta, it moves in a circle. Now, I need to move it in such a way that is a horizontal speed remains a constant and it traces a circle also. So, it traces a circle in this like this and moves horizontally. So, this path is known as, yes, I am to move horizontal constant speed and trace a circle also. So, if I trace a circle like this, the path is helical, same as that of a uh, spring. That means, if you have to analyze any of the vertical component, you will have to think of this circle. Of what radius? R. If you have to take into account any horizontal parameter, then you will take into account V cos theta. Stepwise. <clears throat> horizontal component V cos theta, force due to V cos theta is 0. Why? Because V cos theta is parallel to V, that is point number 1. So, force acting due to V cos theta is 0, no acceleration along x axis, particle will move with a constant speed V cos theta, one is answered. Two, because of V y, V sin theta, this V y component, V sin theta will do what? 
v sin theta is perpendicular to b so because this yes circular motion 2 3 in case you want to find out the time period for circular motion only circular motion that means you will take into account only v sin theta time period is equal to what 2 pi r distance covered divided by speed v y is equal to what 2 pi r over v sin theta time period time with you is 4 minutes to write draw a diagram one full page draw a diagram देख ले फोर्थ पॉइंट की है पिच यस पिच का की मतलब होता है एनीवन क्रिकेट पिच यस हां डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू विकेट्स इन क्रिकेट करेक्ट पिच मींस distance between two identical points and in cricket two identical points are wickets that is why you term this as pitch here suppose you are at this point then this is one point complete one circle and you reach to the same position say this point is j this point is k j and k are identical distance between j and k is termed as pitch distance between two identical point a is termed as pitch it is written as in this case p yes kis tarah pata lagega horizontal distance covered is equal to horizontal speed remains same because there is no force on v cos theta horizontal component remains same velocity horizontal into yes from this point to this point let us see how much time it takes from this point back to the same point time taken by the particle to complete one circle that means into t vx is equal to what v cos theta and time taken is the same 2 pi r divided by v sin theta same time so what you get is v v cancel 2 pi r sorry divided by kardane divided by tangent theta am i right so pitch is equal to now you can refer to the notes <coughs> if theta is equal to 0 
it is not defined for this case because it won't trace a helical path. If theta is equal to 90 degree, then the particle will keep on moving in a circle, won't cover any horizontal path. Tangent 0 is, sorry, tangent 90 is infinity, 2 pi r by infinity is 0. So, if a particle enters the magnetic field perpendicular, it will trace a circle, but won't trace helical path. In that case, which is a 0. Time with you is 2 minutes completed. <laughs>